my channel for those that don't know I'm Samantha my channel is about make candles with me and I am the CEO of scent and company so for today video is gonna be a little different I'm gonna be making 200 candles so I'm gonna bring you guys along so that you can see step by step the process how it's done to make 200 candles I'm a little disappointed because everything that can go wrong did go wrong. I ordered some supplies because um, I made a few already, like 60 something, and I ran out of most of the fragrance oil and some of my wax because I had a big old order before this order. So I was low on supplies and I ordered some replacement supplies and I paid for overnight shipping and it was supposed to be delivered today for me to finish up this order but I just received an email saying that it's gonna be delivered tomorrow remind you I have to deliver 200 candles tomorrow so I was a little bit overwhelmed but you know I got myself together real quick and I say you know what I can do all things through Christ who gave me strength Philippians 413 so I'm gonna stand on that I'm gonna put on my smiley face and I'm gonna do what I do because I can do it. So we're gonna start with the whole process. I'm gonna show you guys how I lay out the containers. I'm gonna put the wooden wick inside the container. I already have some over here that I did just for the sake of time with the video. I didn't want it to be too long and drawn out. So I'm going to do a little bit more. I cannot get all of them on this table. I have another table, but the the um, filming will be a little bit too much for me to keep moving back and forth. So we're going to just stick with what we have right now, just so that you can get a gist of the beginning, the middle, and the end. So I'm going to bring you guys along the whole process, and then I'll show you after I'm done how I package it and me taking it to get it delivered. So enjoy let's go so first thing first i'm gonna do is put my gloves on i like you using my gloves because dealing with so much fragrance oil and the wax it kind of get a little bit messy so i like wearing my gloves like if i'm doing one or two candles i would just do it without the gloves but with such a large order i want to you know have this on just so that the smell so I have my gloves, I have um, my warning label to go at the bottom. I have my stickers, I have it in two different forms. I have this as well, I like this because it's much easier and the adhesive is way better. Even though this work, I like this one better. Just my review. And I'm gonna be using my little wick clip that I showed you guys in my last video. And I already cut a few of my wooden wick. I did a few already, just again for the sake of the video and time, because for you guys that know, it normally come like this length right here. So what I do instead of wasting it, because a lot of people will put the whole length inside of the tin. And then when they do that, let me show you guys. When you put the whole thing, it's like a lot of extra. If I didn't cut this, it would be like way up here. And then they will just cut it and throw away the rest. But for me, that's like throwing money in the trash. So what I do, I take one of my wooden wick and I just cut it in half and I use one wick for two containers. So just a little tip for you guys, if you're using this wooden wick, just a little tip to help you save some money. So I have that, I have my alcohol that I'm gonna use to clean my container. I have my paper towel. So I'm gonna go ahead and start. I'm gonna only, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm gonna only do seven containers. I have way more. I have like about six blocks I have to do. But um, just for the sake of time, I'm gonna just do six more. I already have these here done. I did the whole process. So pretty much I'm gonna show you guys what I already done. So I did my sticker first and then I put the the um the wick inside the middle. So I just show you guys and I'm gonna I'm gonna use the white container because I already have the gold and the black, so I'm gonna do 
the white container this is how the white look in my last video i told you guys that i'm doing white gold and black so this is pretty much the white gold and black this is how it look so that's what i'm gonna be doing so i'm gonna do six seven and this is the box that they come in in my last unbox video this is what the um the tin look like so I went ahead and removed the plastic already and I already put the sticker again just for time's sake because this is a crunch for me and I didn't want to waste time. So I started this last night. I just um, put on the warning sticker and all of the white container. So it's all already there. So you're not going to see me putting this on because it's already done. But I will go ahead and put the wooden wick inside and what I do I kind of put the top the lid inside of a box so when I'm finished I know all my lids is in there and it's not just all over the place I'm very organized and I like stuff in order so that's the purpose for that I have a whole box with um my lid and then I have another box with a plastic because after I'm finished making the candles I'm gonna put it back in the plastic that it comes in just so that it would look all nice and neat and organized and classy because I'm all about excellence. So let's get into it. So since I'm doing the seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, I'll do seven real quick. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And I have a box down here as well for my um, trash because I don't want stuff to be going all over the place. So that's what that is for. So let's start with cleaning the container. I have six, four, three, two, four, six, seven. So let's go ahead and clean these right quick. Now you don't need a whole lot of alcohol just a little just to get the debris out of the container because in my last video i thought the container was um a frost color but comes to find out because of the little dirt inside it, it, it was a clear container but it looked frost but when i clean it with my finger you could see that it was clear so a lot of people probably want to know why we clean the container before we start making the candle but it's for like debris because I don't come across where some container had a lot of dust inside. And for me, I don't want to just pour my wax in a dirty container and the dirt is just there at the surface. So that's why I clean my container. And I use um, the alcohol to do such. So that's what I'm doing right now. And it's a quick process. You don't have to take your time and go slowly. It's, it's just a quick process. So put that over there. And um, this container here does not have the support at the bottom like the ones that I showed you guys in my last video. It had like three little support at the bottom. So when you burn your candle and you sit it down, it's not just directly on the surface. I always advise anyone who burn candle, it's simple. The candle come with a lid for a reason. I always advise anyone, whether it's my candle, whoever candle, when you burn it, I always advise you to do like this. Just utilize the lid just to have that extra protection against your surface because you don't want to burn this flat on your surface and then because the tin gets so hot, you end up burning your surface. So always, always, just don't throw this away or don't just put it aside. Just put your candle on and you still get a nice look. It's not in the way. It's just an extra protection. Just another tip for you guys. So, yeah, so let's go. And along it with the other container, not just the support, it had like a little center piece inside to guide you where you just put your wig directly in the center. This one do not. So I have to pay 
close attention because I don't want my, my wooden wick to be too much over to the left or too much over to the right or not center correctly, just crooked. So I have to really eyeball this one here and because it's white too, you'll be able to see it clear. It's not like the black. Um, so I really have to pay attention and eyeball this just to make sure it's not crooked in any way. So that's what I'm gonna be doing here. That's a perfect center. So that's all I'm doing right now. And it's best if you do it like the way how I'm doing it. Just put the wooden clip, the wick clip, just put it flash flat on your surface. And in that way, you just like firmly push the wooden wick in and you're good to go. Because a lot of time, you know, people try to do it like this and then it's like, it just take up more time, you see? Versus you still get it in, but to me, it just go quicker doing it the way how I'm doing it. Okay, so we have our white containers. I did um, seven of the white containers. I'm gonna go ahead and get this on um, here so that we can get started. I think um, I think I wanna do, um, I was gonna do eight of those, but um, I think I'll just stick with seven and just do seven of the white container. Now I'm gonna be using three different scents to make one powerful fragrance. I'm gonna be using this Forever Red and I'll link where I get it from in my description box, but it's uh, a Forever Red. This is a 16 ounce container. I'm gonna also be using um, Clean Air. This is a eight ounce container. Bottle, sorry, bottle. And um, this is what's called Fierce. It's an eight ounce bottle. So I'm using these three scents to get like a really nice, powerful, sweet, not too masculine, not too feminine, but just right in the middle. So I'm gonna try out these on the seven white that I have and see what I come up with. I already did a test sample. What I did is um did a few drops of each in one of my um, test container and the smell, I like it, so I wanna go for it and try it. Now, what I'm gonna have to do is, um, with the load I'm gonna be using, it's a total of 16, it's 16.3, to equal 10% fragrance load. I measure this container this morning with wax, unscented wax, and believe it or not, this one here hold a little bit more than the gold. When I put the wax in the gold and I put some wax in the black one, um, the black one here in measure 163 um, total to fill one container. And for the gold, it measure 161. Which, and that's odd because when I did my unboxing video, this here kind of look a little, a little bigger. It look a little wider than the black, but I guess not. So I just went with the correct measurement. I don't do the water measurement. I do the actual wax because that's what I'm using. I'm not using water. A lot of people measure by the water, then they do the little multiplication and convert it to fragrance. Well, that's just a little bit too much for me. I'm gonna keep it simple. I'm gonna throw the wax in. 
I'm going to put this first on the scale. I'm going to tear my scale so that it's not picking up the weight of the container. Then I'm going to pour some warm wax inside and see what I get. And from then, I have an accurate amount. So I don't have time for all the thinking, the moving here, moving there, divide, multiply. I don't have time for that. I'm here to make it simple so you guys just follow me, try it my way, and I promise you it's going to come out great every time you do it. So um, I'm going to do the Fierce Fragrance because it's a little bit more stronger. I'm going to use, um, and let me see here. It's, it's strong, but it's strong and it's not a strong scent where it's overpowering, but it's a nice strong scent. So I'm going to use 7% of this here, the Fierce, and I'm going to use 6% of the Forever Red, and I'm going to use 3.2% of the Clean Ear. So when you add it all together, you should have a total of 16.3 for the um, Black, 16.3 um, total fragrance oil low because I'm using... 10% fragrance oil low for them. So that's how I did my calculation for it so that it's not all equal amount that I'm putting. So I went based on the smell when I smell it. I, I went based on that. So you can tweak it. You can flip it and do 3% on this one, 6 on that, 7 on that. You can do it however you want to. Whatever smell is pleasing to you and work for you, that's fine. You don't have to stick with my measurement but i'm just giving you guys an example of what i did to come up with this scent that i think is going to be a great scent so um enough of me talking well what i'm going to do to make it eight total i'm going to just add a goal in here because to me i like even numbers and seven was not an even number so eight is a better number for me so i'm gonna do eight here so we're gonna go with making eight candles and then um I'm gonna move on and see what scent I'm gonna use for the rest over here. If I'm gonna stick with the scent that I'm using for these eight, if I do, then I'm gonna make the remainder that I have up here with the same scent. Um, because the shipping didn't come, I have to just work with what I have because I already said yes to the to the um, assignment that I got with delivering 200. So because the shipping messed up, I can't just sit and just say, I'm not gonna do anything. I have to just jump in and do what I can. So prayfully, they like the scent that I choose and it's not gonna be a problem because I don't have much time to get everything done. I'm behind. So I just wanna just jump in and do what I have to do. So let's go. So I'm gonna put these aside and I'm gonna get to weighing my wax so that we can get started. So I'm gonna go ahead and plug in my wax warmer so that we can get that start heating up because um, I want the temperature to be the right temperature for me to just flow. I don't wanna have any delays. So let's get that going. I'm gonna move this out of the way because I'm finished with this and I'm gonna move um, these little stickers and everything else out of the way so I could get some room over here. And I'm gonna be using this container here to pour my fragrance oil in. I'm gonna still use this here because it's three, but this is gonna be the main um, container. I'm gonna mix everything everything inside inside of this container. It's a glass measuring one. So let me just get everything moved out of the way and then I'll come back and we could get started. Okay, so now I cleaned off the um, other stuff. We're gonna just jump right in. So I'm gonna stop talking and just work. So just watch me.
different kind of wax from my normal wax that I use. But like I told you guys earlier, um, the, 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 the shipping just been off. So I had to do what I had to do. And I had to do a quick order from um, Amazon to get this wax here. This is the Freedom Coconut Wax. It's still coconut natural wax, so I just decided to use it. I worked with it before in the past. It's, it's still a good wax, but um, I normally get mine from Misty because it's a big old 11 pound um, box that I use, and I'm just used to that. But I did work with this one before, and um, it's all natural coconut wax, so it's still coconut regardless. So that's why you didn't see me use the the box that I normally buy because I had to do an overnight order. Luckily, this came this morning, so I was able to, you know, just start with this right here, this wax. So that's why you see me using this. So I'm going to check my wax now and see if it's at the temperature for this one right here. Um, the heat point... The heat point for this is 160. So I'm gonna check and see if we're at 160 right now. We're at 169, so I'm gonna let that cool down a little to bring it down to the 160 because I don't want it to be different from the, the um, direction of what is saying that the heat point should be. And with my last video, I show you guys that I got this little funnel. Let me tell you, whoever made candles and don't have this, you're missing out. I decided to order this because the pouring of the pitcher, you spill some wax and it, it could get a little messy. So I wanted something that was a little bit more clean and, and quicker. So this right here, I used it yesterday. When I tell you this cut down time with you making your candles is clean because you put it right over the container and you just go. So I'm gonna give this here a 10. What I'm gonna do is order the bigger one. This is a smaller one, but they have the ones that is like a little bigger. So I'm gonna eventually order that, but I'm gonna use this for when I'm making like a smaller scale, like four or five, but for the quantity that I'm making now, the bigger one would come in better handy, but you know, I'll still work with this. It still works out for me. And I like the fact how, you know, it's the stand that come with it. It's not just where you put it like that. So I like that. So let's check the wax and see if it's at 160 now. We're not at 160. We still have a little bit more to, to come down. I turn it off because like I told you guys, my wax warmer, it get hot really fast. So I had to turn it off and I'm gonna just wait for that to calm down. I put the lid on because when you put the lid on to it get to the temperature that you want it quicker than just sitting and waiting for it to do what it has to do. And also because I'm in my garage, the air normally like keep it cool and it kind of frees it from really going up to the temperature that you want it. So I put on the lid so that all of the heat would stay into the wax warmer and get me to the right temperature that I need quicker. Smarter, not harder. So I'm gonna check. We're at 162. I'm gonna go ahead and pour it 162 because what's gonna happen when I put this in my pitcher the temperature is gonna drop anyway. So I'm gonna go ahead and pour it now with the 162. So let's go. So I already measured this, this um, wax out. It's for eight, eight of my 10. And this as well, this pouring pitcher, I will recommend it. I got this one here from Misty and I really like it. It's very, very sturdy. I have another one, a stainless steel I had ordered from Amazon, and it's not as sturdy as this one here, to be honest with you. It still do what I have to do, but it's not as sturdy as this here. The handle is very firm, so I would recommend this one here. It's a little bit more expensive than Amazon, but you know, you always pay for quality, always. So... I'm gonna have to do this here because everything did not come out. 
just a little. So, I'm gonna show you guys. See, 139, that's how fast that dropped down. So that's why I told you guys, let's go ahead and pour it because once they hear it, it start dropping. So I'm gonna go ahead and stir this just to have the wax already in motion. And I'm gonna pour my oil in slowly and I'm gonna stir this gently. Because I want all of the wax to mix in with the fragrance oil. So I'm gonna just stir this here for like about a minute or so. And that's the thing when people make candles, they like to rush just to like get through the process. But you have to take your time if you want to perfect your um, candle making skill. You have to take your time. It, it is kind of, you know, you want to rush and hurry through and move on to the next. But if you want it to be perfect and excellent, you have to like, you know, be patient. Because this here is it's really science. If you measure, if your measurement is off, you will know. If you don't measure the correct wax and you try to make your candle, your containers is not gonna be filled. And you don't wanna be frustrated where you pour in the wax and the container just go halfway. Now you have like two containers that is not full. You don't want that. So just take the extra step, take time and do what I told you to do, pour in some wax in your tin so that you will have an ideal weight of how much wax your container holds and you will always be accurate, you will miss it. So as you can see, I'm pouring it slowly. I'm stirring it um, slowly because I want everything to mix in. So in a steady motion. And this smells so good, you guys. Uh, this smells so great. So, I think that's enough stirring here. So I'm gonna put this over here. And this is how easy I'm gonna show you guys. I normally put it over here just in case any excessive wax come out, it's gonna go back in here. So all you do is pour this over. And when you pour that over, you just come over to your container. I'm gonna start with the first one. And you just do like this. Eyeball it to the point where you want it to stop. Remember, you have your lid going on, so you don't want it too full. Where when you put on the lid, it can't close. So just eyeball it. And just average the, um, the lid cover where it would still close. This smell, oh my gosh, you guys, this smells so good. This mixture, I really, really like this. This smell awesome. It's not, it, it, it's just the right scent for unisex. It's just the right scent. So if you want something for like unisex, these three scents that I mix, it's like the perfect, perfect combination. I could burn this in my house all day long. This is something that I would enjoy burning. So it's a little, little over. So all I do is go back and just the ones that look a little low. Because when you pour the wax in, the wood kind of suck up some of the um, wax. So that's what I'm doing, just bringing it back up.
And I think where the extra come in at, in the container, I had a um, little bit of dry wax in there. So that's where the extra, but still we got a perfect measurement for this right here. I, I wrote down my um, stuff so that I could be on point and not off. So for this, because it's a gold container, it was a total of 1,288 was the measurement of um, the amount of wax that I need to fill eight of the tin, the white and gold tin. So that's what gave me this perfect measurement, not too over, not too under. And as you could see, both is empty, no extra left over. So like I said, if you follow my regimen, you will always have the perfect pour. You will always have your perfect amount. So, I mean, you could take my tip or you could use your tip. I just like to, you know, if I can help out someone to not go through the same mistake that I did, you know, I normally do it. A lot of people don't like sharing stuff because they'd be like, well, somebody gonna steal my recipe. Somebody gonna do it. But I'm a firm believer what's for you is for you. And I know that, you know, this is a gift and a talent that I have. I enjoy doing it. And I know I'm going to continue to be blessed with my own clients and everything is going to flow for me. So I'm going to share so that someone else could have that same, that same blessing and they can go forward and do what they have to do with their business as well. So what I'm going to do, I still have a few more candles to make. I'm probably gonna stick with the same scent because I really like the way how this scent came out. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish up doing those. But at the end of the video, I'm gonna insert a clip of everything that is completed. It's not enough room for me to have all 200 on this table. So I can't really show you guys everything laid out but at the end, I will show you it like in the boxes and how everything turned out. I'm probably going to come back on and show you like as much as I could fill on this table so that you can see what I'm talking about. But I do want to thank you guys for watching. I will not have a review on this video because this video here is a little longer than my normal video. But I will continue to do reviews at the end of every video that I bring to you guys. So... For now, I'm going to end it here and then I'm going to follow her back with you guys so that you can see the finishing touch. Hey you guys, this is day two of me making 200 candles. I was able to accomplish 100 so far. This is about 100 more I have to do as you can see. Your girl is so busy. Um, everything that could have gone wrong went wrong, but you know, God is able. I got everything that I needed, so I'm gonna go ahead and continue making the remainder 100. My deadline is today at seven. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this done. And I'll bring you guys back once I'm finished doing everything, once it's solidified. I will bring you guys back just to see how everything looks. So I'll be back. I'm uh, mixing in my fragrance oil into the wax right now. And I'm gonna show you guys how great this funnel is that I purchased from Amazon. So pretty much you just pour in your wax. See, it's not messy how easy this is. And all you do is come over here and you just let it go. You guys don't, don't laugh at me with my um, knife that I have. But I just grab what I can grab. Don't laugh at me with um, my wick. I'm just grabbing what I can grab because I want the wick to stay straight. So don't judge me. So pretty much this is how easy this funnel work. I really like it. I give the review 10. So you guys make sure you get this funnel i'm gonna leave my link in the description box so that you guys can grab you this funnel for those who make candle is very very easy no spill no mess no wasting of the wax is so easy
Okay, so we have, um, I think this is about 100 here. Still working on a few more right now. But this is what we are looking like right now, I must say. Um, it's a lot of work. This was not easy. Um, I'm about to box up these ones right here. I already have a few boxed. But um, I'm about to do this as well. And I will show you guys all the boxes once I am done. Okay, you guys. So this is the finishing product. I have a few over here. And then we have the stack boxes over here. I'm about to go and deliver this right now. Um, I finished just in time. The people, they wanted it for 7. And guess what? It is 6 30 so I did what I had to do it was a lot but thank God thank you guys for watching hey you guys so who I finally did it I finally completed the 200 candles that I had to make um, for this event it was it was tough because everything that can go wrong did go wrong I ran out of fragrance oil, I ran out of wax, I ran out of my wooden wick. I thought I had everything that I need, but I end up running out of stuff. And then I pay extra to have stuff overnight and it was a delay. So it's like everything that could have gone wrong it tried to go wrong, but it didn't prevail. You know, the scriptures say the weapon may form but it shall not prosper. That's what that's what happened yesterday. It was all kind of weapon tried to form yesterday, but it didn't prosper. I did it. I deliver. My client was pleased. Now I am tired because I've been going and going and running like a chicken with my head cut off. So I got that behind my back. And now I have to prepare for 300 more. Yes, you heard me. I just did 200. Now she want me to do 300 more. It's a blessing. It's a blessing, but um, I'm glad she let me know ahead of time so I could get my thought together, mentally, prepare physically, Productly, <laughs> I can get all the leap prepare this time. So I just want to thank you guys. You know, it wasn't the ideal video that I wanted. I wanted it to be like just set up where you see everything step by step. But with all the hiccup I was having, I was like, uh, whatever. You know, I tried to get as much as I could in between, you know, everything that tried to go wrong. But, um, it wasn't the ideal video that I wanted, but you know, you guys just bear with me. Thank you for being so patient. And you know, I'll, I'll, I'll make sure when I'm doing a 300, I'll make sure that um, I bring you guys along so that you can see exactly how I prep, how I um, measure the right wax, how I measure the right fragrance, you guys will be able to see because I'm a have more space. You know, I was just working with two table and that was still kind of like a little tight for me. So the next time I'll have a little bit more space and um, it, it's going to be a more detailed video. But I just want to thank you guys for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for commenting. Thank you for sharing my video. Thank you for all your support. And on top of the orders I have been receiving, I really appreciate you guys. Don't forget, I do have um, Shea Butter on the website now. I just restock again. Um, so it's available now, so don't forget to go check it out. If you need bigger size, you can um, send me an email or you can comment and let me know and I can do a bigger size for you because the bigger size is currently not available on the website as yet. I'm working on it. I just been like so busy fulfilling orders and everything else. So, you know, I'll get it together. It's coming. 
ounce but if you want me to make you like a six ounce the bigger jar just um like i said email me um drop a comment and i'll go ahead and get it done for you but i do want to thank you for watching my video thank you again you'll be blessed until next video thank you